right, so we're gonna look at the different um, cuts that you can actually get for a moonstone because a lot of the times on the market, you, you I feel most people only know that there's cabochon, but there isn't. There's actually faceted like a diamond. Um, and it has a really unique look and it's a little bit hard to find, but for an engagement ring, I think that it's probably a much nicer choice. Here we have oval, we have cushion rectangular, and we have uh, octagon. So I'll also show you the different qualities so you can really understand what is a good quality of moonstone versus a knot, especially for an engagement ring. It's super important. Um, so when you're going to look at the three, you have the oval, the uh, cushioned rectangular and we have the octagon cut and out of the three if you look between like the octagon cut there's there's much less um, of a blue sheen to it it's a lot more of like a transparent stone so it would be of a lesser quality technically than the ones that have a stronger blue sheen it's still quite beautiful but it doesn't have exactly the traits that most people would buy moonstone for then obviously we have the regular cabochon. Here we have a very high quality blue moonstone and like you can really see the difference between the two. So the lesser quality is very milky because it's very high in inclusions versus the higher quality, there's almost no inclusions. It's very clear. There's a very strong sheen of blue to it. Uh, so it's a very nice piece because like you do want to maybe pay a little bit more to have a nicer quality because it's going to be the center stone so same thing for these guys so these are kind of like very too strong extremes so obviously the nice faceted one here has very little inclusions the other one it has a strong sh rainbow sheen to it so in terms of color it does have a nice color however it's not consistent so versus the other one that has a little bit less of a strong sheen it it's throughout the stone versus this one it's really kind of like two streaks through the middle so it's not really the best also the inclusions are quite strong like you can very see that like it's not even foggy like there's really um, some strong dents inside so a lot of times people wonder like can you have a moonstone as an engagement ring is it a hard enough stone yes it is obviously it's not gonna be as hard as a diamond but you will need um, like a little bit more extra care, you know, you're not going to be gardening with your engagement ring on, you're going to have to take it off. The only thing that I would probably recommend is that because it is a slightly softer stone, over the years, like because it's faceted, I would say maybe every five to seven years, you might want to consider having your stone recut. Um, it's not drastic. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I would say it's probably under like 150 under 100 that kind of price point But what they'll just do is if you bring it to like the gemnologist and they're gonna just re Cut the facets on the top to re give it its brilliance because over time it's going to slowly erode and you're gonna lose the cut that gave it its beauty in the first place so that's the only thing that I would definitely consider knowing that there will be that maintenance over the years. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions, comments, obviously leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. If you are interested in creating a custom moonstone ring or would like to start the process, feel free to send me an inquiry and I will be happy to help. Alright, have a good night. Bye!